everyone welcome back to my channel so I have a bathing gardens haul for you and this is a shop from Etsy I'll leave the link below which I'm pretty sure everyone has pretty much heard of um, as soon as I saw videos of this on YouTube I knew I had to try this vendor um, she specializes in tarts that are in clamshell form which is like this um, and she has several unique scents that I really wanted to try and Piper's gonna hang out in the video he's back over there so Yes, I really wanted to try a bunch of her scents, so I ended up getting a 10-pack, and then I bought a single clamshell, and then I got two of these for free, and then these three freebies here. So we're going to go ahead and get started, so this video doesn't run too long. I actually got this package in the mail earlier this week, and I've been working crazy shifts, so I have not had a chance to make this video, and I want to hurry up and get it out so I can start using this stuff. So I'm going to start with the little freebies. These are like little ice cream scoops, and there's two of them in here. And I, these don't come labeled, so I don't know what, this, what they're called. But it really smells like an orange creamsicle. It smells like orange and vanilla. It smells really good. And, of course, that's like one of my husband's favorite scents. So he's going to really enjoy this one. Um, these two here, it's like a little shell and a little jester. These smell like lavender, and it's a really pretty scent. I'm going to enjoy this one when I come home from work and just to put this in the warmer while I'm trying to get some sleep. So, again, this smells like lavender. And then the last one is also ice cream scoops, and they are a lemon scent, uh, kind of like a lemon bakery scent. I did get a lot of lemon scents in my order, but for some reason I don't think this is the same kind of lemon as any of those, but I could be wrong. Okay, so I checked on her Etsy shop, and some of these, I guess these nine here are still on her page so I was able to get the descriptions on them but I couldn't find descriptions on these um, so I'm just going to tell you what they smell like on cold snuff um, this first one is carrot cake and it just smells like a carrot cake and I love the way these are decorated so as you can see it's orange and it's got like this frosting and like graham cracker esque kind of wax on top And it smells like a carrot cake that's not spicy, which I love because I'm not really into spicy scents. Um, and you can smell like the graham cracker and like some kind of uh, creamy um, substance, which was, I guess, the cream cheese frosting. And all these clamshells have uh, six tarts in them. This next one is lemon pound cake. And this one is all lemon and it has really pretty sprinkles on it and it has some crust detailing on it. And I love the way this one smells. I've never smelled a lemon pound cake like this one. And lemon pound cake is one of my favorite scents to get from vendors. And it just smells like a really pleasant bakery lemon pound cake. This next one is tea cake. And I think it's just supposed to be like you're at a tea party and you have a glass, I mean a, a cup of tea and a like cake on the side. And it's got like a frosting kind of finish on top. I get like a perfumey note. I don't know if that's the tea, but I almost smell like a raspberry in it too. But like I said, I don't know what the notes are on this because it wasn't on her website when I looked it up after I got my order. So this is tea cake. This one it was a freebie. Lavender Serenity. Piper. Nope. And it's a really pretty purple color and it's got purple little beads on it and a little purple flower. Piper. Nope. Hang on a second. No. My bird likes to chew on everything. Okay. Sorry about that. When I smell it right away, I get like, my husband even said it too, like a grape Kool-Aid scent, but it's pleasant and it's a pretty scent. So I get like grape Kool-Aid and lavender. I really like this and I'm glad she gave this to me as a freebie because it smells so good. The only thing is it's not on her website anymore, so if I enjoy it, I don't know how to order another one. If I could just make a note to her saying I would like another one and see if she has it or not, I'm not too sure how that's going to work. Okay, so let's get started on the ones that have sent descriptions. This one is Pink Sugar Cookie. In just a second, let me pull up the description. It just says pink sugar mixed with buttery sugar cookie. And this one is so pretty. It's got the color of like a sugar cookie, like that yellow brownish color. And it's got pink frosting on top of glitter. It's so pretty. And it smells like a sugar cookie with the pink sugar perfume, which is exactly what it's supposed to smell like. 
This next one is pistachio almond pudding. There's an actual pistachio nut in there. And it says, this scent is a yummy blend of sharp almond, sweet pistachios, and cake. And you know me, I like my cake scents. And I get like a heavy almond note. Um, to be completely honest. But it's such a pretty color and hopefully it'll change up a little bit um, the scent whenever I melt it. And actually, that's an almond nut, not a pistachio nut. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just woke up from working last night, so I'm a little half asleep here. Lavender Martini. It says, mouth-watering martini scent blended with 100% lavender essential oil, topped with a piece of pretty purple glass and little sparkling flowers. And as you can see, the base of this tart is white. And it's got some purple swirls and then some cute little crystal glass flowers and a little fl flower there. This one just intrigued me. It sounded like a very interesting scent combination. I smell lavender and I guess the martini scent in the background, but I've never had a martini, but it smells so good. It's a great combination. It's a very relaxing scent. This next one is black velvet cake, because red velvet cake is one of my favorites. And as you can see, it's kind of red on the bottom and brown on top. It's chocolate cream pie layered over red velvet cake. And there's some crumbs and whatnot. You can actually see the crumbs on here, too. But right away when I open it, I get that chocolate scent. Piper, what are you doing? He's moving the flower. Piper! Piper! Right away I get a chocolate scent, and if you were to turn the tart over and just pop this out, you can smell that red velvet cake. Makes my mouth water. Lemon sugar, which I'm glad she gave me this one as a freebie because I was debating. I had it in my cart, and I was taking it in and out because I didn't know what to get. And I actually didn't buy it because I figured... I had enough lemon scents and I wanted to try more unique fragrances, but luckily she gave me this in my freebie. And I love all the freebies she sent me. They're perfect. This is just a white color with some yellow sprinkles on it and a little ladybug. It says citrus top notes of real lemon and warm base notes of vanilla and sugar. A fresh duplication. I don't know what it's supposed to be duplicating, though. But this one, it smells really lemony and sugary, but I get almost a cleaner note, cleaner lemon from it. But I'm still going to try that one. This next one I absolutely love. It's Happy Unbirthday Beautiful. And it says, the description is, what does it say here? Yummy iced birthday cake. And look at that. It's like a yellow cake with these pretty sprinkles and stars and this glittery present on it. And it smells just like a birthday cake. It smells so good. Like you can even smell like icing and like even the sprinkles on it. It smells so good. This next one I knew was going to be my favorite. Ever since I saw the description of this when I first saw her Etsy site, I knew I was going to love this one. This is Cheshire Cat, and this is from her Alice in Wonderland collection. And this is Lemon Meringue topped with Vanilla and Raspberry Icing. As you can see, there's a lemony part, and on the top has that raspberry and that little rose and the sprinkles. And this one I actually ordered on its own because... I, like I said, I ordered a 10-pack and I ordered one single tart, and this was the one I got that I ordered singly. It just smells so good. The raspberry, I was hesitant about because raspberry gives me a headache after a while. But this one is a nice bakery raspberry scent, and it smells like a ripe raspberry, not like a tart one. And it smells so good, and it blends well with that lemon. I cannot wait to melt this one. The next one is lemon cheesecake. Of course, I had to try this one because everyone raves about it. This is delis delicious cheesecake swirled with tart lemon. As you can see, the bottom is white and it has some yellow swirls on top and some cake crumbles, crust crumbles. And this one smells so good. Bakery lemon, cheesecake scent, some crust notes. It's amazing. The last one is one I definitely had to check out as well because of rave reviews on it. This is Vintage Circus. And this one is blue cotton candy on top over candy apples. It's a circus and a tart, and I love the color combination. It's so pretty. You can see the pinky color on the bottom, which is that um, candy apple, and then the blue cotton candy. It's got blue little sprinkles and some hearts. Piper, leave that alone. And it just smells so good and girly and candy-ish and... I'm really going to enjoy all of these tarts that I got, and I'm so glad that I purchased from her. And, yeah, I will, like I said, leave the uh, 
website down below so y'all can go ahead and check that out. Um, thank y'all so much for watching and also uh, check out my Facebook page. I'll leave the link down below and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.